professor at the New York University, which many of you will be familiar with, and a proud and very active alumni of New York University. She's an active speaker and offers financial literacy workshops at several public schools and churches in her local community. She is a four-time author of, the, of some books, which I will name for you. One is, If You Ain't Stacking, Then You're Dropping. And then there is, This Is Why You're Broke. And this Let's Get Rich, a journal planner, which are all available on her website, odettaking.com, as well as on Amazon. She recently authored her fourth book titled Playground Millionaires, How to Set Your Kids Up to Be Millionaires. But most importantly, she has been with this firm for over seven years and is a six-figure diamond ring earner with World Financial Group. She has helped hundreds of families on the journey to achieving their personal financial goals while building a large financial agency of licensed professionals across the United States and Canada. Her vision, and now my vision too, is to keep improving lives through financial education and to assist more families. So honored guests, it is my pleasure to present to you Miss Odetta King. Let's welcome Miss King. Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody doing? Wow, we've got an amazing room today. 19 people on. Donna, we love you, Donna. They love you, Donna. Not Donna. Guys, oh, when so yes, we love you, Donna. <laughs> Donna got 19 <laughs> people you. on her grand opening. Everybody's so excited for her, her new journey on not only just helping people with their health, but now helping them with their with their finance. I am super, super excited for you, Donna. Wow, this is this is amazing. I remember when I got my license, um, God, like seven years ago, I didn't even have a grand opening. <laughs> I had no grand opening. I just got my license. They're like, okay, let's get it. Let's let's go to work now. But now we get to celebrate you. That times have changed so much, right? We get to celebrate you guys and and love on you. And it's a big, big, big accomplishment when you when you get your license, because I can tell you, this is a license that um, unlike your job, right? Your, your cap on your income, but here you don't have any cap on your income. You can make as much money or as little money as you want, right? There's no cap on your income and being a professor, I know firsthand and um, there's no way my my dean would ever make a couple of millions, right? But here here we could do all of that and more based on how much we want to put in and how many families we want to help. So Donna, congratulations on this new journey. It is a license to print money and a license to help a lot of families. And you've already been doing it on the healthcare side. So now you're just going to be adding more value to your customers, to your clients, to your, your staff, to your, I don't know, your patient, right? And so it's a really, really good accomplishment and a huge milestone. I know you probably don't even understand it yet, but um, you literally just changed the game for Percy, your one and only son and his kids, right? Because we're, this is gener this is a generational wealth business, guys. This is not like a job when we die, the paycheck stops. No, someday Percy kids, kids will be inheriting this business that Grandma Donna has started in 2024. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for being on. My name is Odetta King. I drank all the Kool-Aid. I'm high energy. And that's because I love this business. It's not about making money. It's about helping people. And the more families we help is a byproduct of, you know, that shows up in our paycheck. So today I want to share with you three rules when it comes to money that I promise all of you. And um, if we all knew this rule, right, we all could have been a lot better. Now, I'm sure a lot of us are doing pretty good, right? A lot of us are doing pretty okay, but we could have done better. This, this is what I honestly can say. We could have all done better. 
I don't know, maybe you got a million dollars, but guess what? If you had a million dollars in certain types of accounts, well, you could sleep good at night knowing you'll never ever lose any money. Or you'll sleep good at night knowing that you ain't gonna pay no taxes on that million dollars, right? So when it comes to money, there are three rules. And the first rule is known as compound interest. I'm sure you guys have heard about compound interest, right? Put in the chat if you've heard compound interest. You've heard about it, right? Everyone has heard about compound interest. But what does that mean when it comes to your money? How does that affect your money in a good or a bad way, right? So compound interest really is a formula that shows us how to calculate how many years your money is going to take to double. That's pretty important, right? You want to know how, how, how quick your money is going to double. Well, the formula is you're going to take number 72. Oh, wow. But anyway, I got to give a shout out to a couple of people. I just went through the chat and I noticed we have some powerful, influential people on. Shout out to attorney Yvette Short. I hope I'm saying your last name right. Short. Yvette Short is in the building. She's one of my guests. Thank you so much for being on. And you never know, you might be doing these webinars in a couple of months, Yvette Stewart, right? I also see Sean Ali. Hey, Sean, thanks for being on. Let me see who else. Let's see, let's see. Percy, I'm so proud of you and your mama, right? I see we have Ramon, we have Samantha, Shelly and Ford, right? Guys, Shelly and Ford is all the way in Florida. She just got on board with us and she too is gonna be hitting the pave running. Uh, I see we have Sharika, we have Ruth, Vita, Michelle, Richard, Jean, um, Dennis, Nana. Welcome everybody. So the first rule to money is understanding how many years it's gonna take for your money to double. That's pretty important because we're all saving money, right? I'm Guyanese, some of you may know Susu, right? And I get beat up a lot for this susu. They tell me, oh, that I'm saving money. I got my money in the susu. Well, honey, you're losing money. You are losing money if you're putting money in the susu because number one, you're not getting in any interest, right? So the rule says you take 72 and you're going to divide that by the rate of return, the interest. So if you're putting your money somewhere that's earning 4%, 72 divided by 4 is 18 years. So assuming you have 10000 today, 18 years that's a long time before it doubles to 20 and another 18 years which is a long time before it doubles again to 40. so you could have somebody fresh off the boat from a caribbean or any other part of the world they come to america they have ten thousand. they put it somewhere at four percent 36 years all is going to grow to is forty thousand. 36 years what is 40,000 going to do in 36 years, guys? Put in the comment. <laughs> is that going to do a lot? Are you going to be living large? You popping in these streets? You live in La Vida Loca? You taking a lot of trips? You eating nice lobster? What are we doing with 40,000 in 36 years? Talk to me, people. Right? Not a lot. You might still be like walking around the supermarket trying to look for deals. All right, but now let's go to the far right. What if you're getting 12%? 72 divided by 12 is six years. So now your 10,000 will only take six years before it doubles to 20. Not 18, but six. And then another six years again, you got 40. Whereby the person who was getting 4%, he has to wait 36 years to get 40,000. But if you're getting 12%, it's only taking you 12 years. Your money is doubling quicker here. So the rule is we got to look for accounts that are giving us a high interest, high enough, right? Whatever that interest is, divide it by the interest you're getting. 72 divided by whatever the interest. And that will tell you how quick your money is going to double. So we could have two individuals, and this is why I say, guys, if you know this rule, you're going to be stacking your coins. And if you don't know this rules, this is why we broke, right? This is why you broke. So you could have two individuals, one getting 4%, 10,000, 
10,000. 36 years, he look up, he got 40,000. He think he doing good. But the other person who has 12%, 36 years later, he has 640,000. Incredible, night and day, life-changing money, right? So we got to look for accounts that are giving us a high interest. Now, if you don't know this rule, you're dropping your coins. How? All loans, your mortgage, credit card, student loan, same principle apply. If your credit card is 12% or your mortgage is 12% or your student loan is 12% or your car loan is 12%, whatever loan, if it's 12%, your debt, you're not making money, your debt is doubling on you you're paying more than you borrow so when they tell you oh you got a 30-year mortgage you could take your sweet time no 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 get that interest divided by 72 and try your, to pay your mortgage off before it doubles because you're gonna be ended up paying for that house three and four times you're gonna pay for that house three and four times if you don't know this rule no they didn't teach us this and why should they teach us this? Because as long as we don't know, guess who's making money off of us? Right? First rule. Second rule is how is the money growing? Because now that we got the high interest, that's a good thing, right? But it's not done yet. How is the money growing? If you put your money in the bank, that is a fixed product. So you're getting safety with the bank all day, every day. But the growth is very little because what does the bank give us for interest? What's the average interest on bank accounts? Can anybody put in the chat? What are you guys getting for your interest in banks? Are we getting a lot of interest? Are we getting little interest? What, what are we getting? What bank are you with? You don't have to say the bank, but just, just try out. How much are you getting in interest? If any, half a percent, half a percent, is that a lot? No, very little. <laughs> right? It's not a lot. So money in the bank is really never going to double in our lifetime. And by the time it double, well, how much is it going to really help us? Not a lot. So money in the bank right they didn't tell you this and they're not going to tell you this money in the bank is transactional that should only be there money in money out pay the bills do whatever you need to do maybe keep some savings emergency but it's really not to be sitting there because you're not going to invest or grow money sitting in the bank it is safe but you're not growing it right in fact if you have too much money in the bank you're losing money how are you losing money if you have too much of it in the bank? How are we losing? Through inflation. 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 Mm -hmm. Yep, right? Because inflation right now is about 4 to 5%. If you're not if you leverage it and you don't get nothing from it. Exactly, right? If, if you're not getting 4 to 5% of the bank, well, you're actually losing money because the bank is making money off of your money and then inflation is beating you in the head, right? So the second place that you can put your money is in the stock market, which is where everybody and their mama got their money because they tell us, put it over here and you're going to make a lot of money. And that is true. But are we going to keep this money? So we can grow it, but is it safe? I don't want you guys to just be rich today and broke tomorrow. I want you to be rich and stay rich. Money in the stock market is speculative. You and I have no control, none. We're working so hard for this money and we're putting it in accounts where we have absolutely zero, not a saying in how much we can make and how much we can lose. It is totally speculative. This is like gambling. We're literally gambling here. 
And some of us are gambling at our entire future because that's all the money we're giving them, right? So here, the good thing with the stock market is you can make a lot of money. Of course you can make a lot of money when the market is up, but you could also lose a lot of money when the market is down. It is what it is. All we're here to do is educate you guys, right? So when you become educated on this information, you're gonna make the best decision for your family. The third place that you can put your money to grow, which a lot of people are not familiar with, is with insurance company. And now insurance company, they are insuring your money. So your money is protected, your money is safe, and your money is also growing. So now that you know the three different ways how to protect this money that's growing, which do you think is the better option? Do you want your money to be safe, but not growing a lot because the interest is little? Do you want to have your money grow a lot, but there's no guarantee you'll even get it? Or do you want to have your money growing and safe? My grandmother used to say, eat little and live long, right? So here, you're guaranteed to be rich. You're guaranteed to keep your money. You're guaranteed to never lose your money, right? So again, when you know what you know, you're going to make the better decisions. And there's no right or wrong. All of these accounts are out there for all of us to take. And they all serve a purpose. But you don't want to have all your eggs in one basket. If you have all your eggs in the bank, well, you're straight up losing money. If you have all your eggs in a variable, well, there's no guarantee you even know what you're going to get to keep. So... The key here is to diversify. You want to have a little in different buckets, but you want to have a lot in more buckets, right? So this is how you're protecting the money. As you're growing the money, you also want to protect it. No sense growing it if you could lose it all next week, next month, next year. I've had too many clients said to me, Odetta, where were you when I had half a million? Where were you when I had 200,000? Well, where's the 200,000 now? They didn't know this information to protect it, right? So second rule of money is we got to protect it as we're growing it. And with insurance company, you have safety on your money because this is an insurance contract and you also have growth on your money. So when the market go up, your money go up. But you see this gray line? Anytime the stock market drop, your gains, this is why you see this padlock here, your gains are locked in. You, my friend, do not lose a penny. In fact, you make money when the market go down, right? A lot of you probably never heard of these concepts. What? You mean to tell me you could make money while the market is down? Yes. Yes. You can make money while the market goes down. And this is one of the strategies. Third rule to money is, boy, they got us really good here. They fooled us. They blindsided us all around the board. How is the money getting taxed? Nobody even understands taxation. Not even tax professional knows this rule. How is it getting taxed? You could make a lot of money, but how much are you going to pay in taxes? Well, the wealthy people know this rule because they're making a lot of money and they sure don't want to pay a lot of taxes. So when you put your money in a checking account, savings, CD, stocks, mutual fund, these accounts, when you get your paycheck, they tax your paycheck. You and I have no control. You put money in these accounts. As the money grows in these accounts, you're also getting known as capital gain tax. Uncle Sam, yes, will tax you on the gain of your money. It is what it is. We're just here to educate us, right? If you put your money in tax later buckets, these are all your job retirement accounts. 401k, 403b, 457, IRA, SEP IRA, TSP, annuity pension, all the job stuff. And this is where Uncle Sam makes a deal with these companies and incentivize them to get everybody and their grandkids to sign up for these accounts. Why? 
here you don't pay tax on the seed when your money is little you're gonna pay tax on the harvest when your money gets bigger you're still gonna pay tax but do you want to pay tax on the seed when the money is little or you want to delay the tax and pay it later when you have bigger money which do you think is better pay it on the little money or the big money little money or big money on the little money yes definitely the little money, little and you, money. you can put an example like if you have one mango or one mango seed and you plant that mango two years later the mango tree bears you have 20 mangoes if somebody came along and says okay now i'm going to tax you on these mangoes that you have these 20 mangoes imagine how much more taxes you have to pay it's that simple yeah i love the mango analogy yeah i rather pay tax on that one seed i don't want to pay tax once this mango tree is buried and then i got all these mangoes no but guys this is what's happening with all of these accounts and most people are not aware HR is not even aware and even if she was that's not her place to tell you I remember when I first came to this country my manager who was very nice to me she's like oh Dada, I know you like saving make sure you sign up for this 401k and max it out and I'm like woo woo my retirement yes I'm gonna max it out and save a lot of money but I didn't understand anything about taxes I didn't understand all this money I'm gonna grow I'm gonna have to pay more taxes more money more tax simple more money you make more taxes you pay simple so when you know this rule if you have your 401k and i'm going to say 401k because a lot are familiar with that or an ira if you're self-employed why would you want to put a lot of money in these accounts and you do not know how much you get to keep when you're ready to retire how much do you get to keep is the bigger question because your statement may show you have half a million or your statement may show you have quarter million but how much of that you get to keep is the bigger question if you do not know how much taxes you will pay and by the way put in the chat do you think taxes will go up or come down in the future put in the chat is it gonna go up or down up or down up or down what are we thinking is it gonna come down or is it gonna go up up or down up or down up or down anybody say down it will never go down guys does inflation ever come down does the cost of rice flour sugar rent gas does anything ever go down no, as long as costs of living keep going up, you're going to pay more, period. Like, this is common sense, right? When I first came to America, you could have gotten a nice house for like quarter million. Now, today, there's no house for quarter million. As long as the house price went up, I'm going to pay more taxes. Nothing is going to go up. So when you have money in these accounts... Yes, you're growing it and that's good, but how much you get to keep if you do not know how much taxes you will pay in the future. And by the way, you're going to have a lot more money because you're saving, 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 saving for 30, 40, 50 years or 20 years. You're stacking it away. So it's getting bigger. The pile is getting bigger, which is good. But how much you get to keep is the question if you do not know how much taxes you'll pay it is what it is right the third bucket of tax is called tax free guys we love free stuff right anybody anybody don't like free stuff right i mean just the name in itself is nice it's tax free we're getting something free over here so all of these accounts rod ira 529 executive bonus long-term care and cash value life insurance all of these are tax free meaning if you have a hundred thousand in these accounts it's a hundred thousand tax free whatever's in these accounts 
is all tax free. So here with tax free account, because we're smart and we understand we're going to pay tax today on the one mango seed. We're going to pay tax today on the little money. So as we start building away our savings and stacking our savings and the money get bigger, no tax for Uncle Sam. Right? We're not cheating the system. We just know the best way to save money, grow money, and not pay too much in taxes. So when you have your money in tax-free accounts, whatever you see is what you got. Over here, whatever you see, you ain't got. Because how much you get to pay in taxes, you do not know. Right? Now, for tax-free accounts, if you do not have these accounts as part of your portfolio, you definitely want to make sure you call Donna or the person who invited you to make sure you reposition some of your assets to come into a tax-free bucket. Now, all of these has pros and cons. I'm not going to go into all the pros and cons, but I will talk about one of them, which has all pros and absolutely no cons. This is what's considered the rich man's rod. This is where the wealthy people are stacking away their money because why? Do they have a lot of money or a little money? They got a lot of money and they don't want to pay tax on a lot of money. So they're heavily using cash value life insurance because first of all, you got a lot of money. You could dump a lot of money in there tax free, right? You cannot dump a lot of money in a rod. Does anybody know what's the max you can put in a rod? Can you dump 100000 in a rod? Can you dump quarter million in a rod? What's the max you can dump in a rod? Put in the chat if you do know, right? So all of these are good from a tax perspective, but some of them have more bells and whistles. Some of them have more advantages, right? Yes, Cliff, I see you put it. It is 6500 Yes. 6500 per year, correct, right? So let's talk about this cash value life insurance. Now, some of you might be saying, oh, Dada, I already got a cash value life insurance. Hold your horses. There are different types, okay? There are different types of cash value life insurance. The type we're talking about today, which I'm a proud owner of three of those accounts, right? It's what's known as an IUL, Index Universal Life. Hi, Karen. Hi, guys. Oh, my God. I totally forgot all my Facebook fans. Th guys, thank you so much for joining. Stay in the room over there, and you can comment and engage as well. So, guys, IUL, everybody in America, especially if you have kids, absolutely need to have an IUL. If you have a lot of money, if you have little money, if whatever it is, the same way how they brainwash us into thinking you got to open a bank account, I'm telling you right now, you got to have an IUL. Why? First of all, let's talk about the company. Transamerica is our parent company. They've been around for 119 years. Anybody here over 100 years old? Anybody here over 100 years old? This company has been around for 119 years. Transamerica has 404 billion, with a B, revenue generated investment. Transamerica is the number one selling IUL in the industry for 11 consecutive quarters. Put in the chat, how much time is 11 consecutive quarters? Guys, being number one, one time is a big deal. Being number one, just one time is a big deal. Much less 11 consecutive quarters. They are winning back to back, back to back, back to back number one. The last time I checked, number one is a good spot. And to be hitting it, Quarter after quarter after quarter after quarter, they're clearly doing something right, right? 
Transamerica has also been known for the number one term life by Forbes advisor. Guys, if we cannot rate ourselves, the industry has to rate us. And Forbes is pretty, pretty reputable, right? And recently by US Today, USA Today, they've just been nominated for best living benefits. Now I'm gonna turn it back to Donna. Donna is a nurse. Maybe Donna can break it down. What does living benefits mean? And how does that affect someone, money or life, right? Because some of you may never heard this term like living benefits. What What is living benefits? Donna, you want to shed some light? So when you, it depends on what illness you have. When you have the type of, of insurance protection that Odette is talking about, if you have an index universal life, your benefits kick in. I just have to put it that way. You have access to benefiting from your insurance policy that could help you in a time when you might become disabled. You can't work for a year. You can't work for six months. You can't work for two years. And you continue to get an income because you had an IUL. You might get into an accident and you're immobilized. You can't work. You have coverage. It will do that for you. Absolutely. Can't think of a better way to put that. But any chronic illness that really prevents you from being able to go to work or to your, even if you're self-employed and you have an IUL, it will do that for you. Yes, it will. Guys, and you know, so many people, we don't think of getting sick. We shouldn't, quite frankly. But also when, when we get sick, we may not die right away. So if we get sick and we cannot work for a year, are the bills gonna stop coming because we got sick? No, they're not. This is America. This is how people become homeless, right? So Transamerica is an all rated company across all industry, AM Best, Moody's, S&P, AAA. The last time I checked, my students would like knock me over if I don't give them an A. I'd be getting phone calls from them, text messages. Some of them, even their parents would call me, what can my daughter do or what can my son do to get an A in your class? A is a pretty good number. Everybody wants A, right? And Transamerica has been getting A across the board. So when you save money in an IUL, Index Universal Life, which we consider your financial foundation, right? you can have a growth of 13% cap. Up to 13% your money can grow. That's pretty good. And you also have a safety net of 0.75. What does this mean, Odetta? Well, plain and simple, when the stock market drop and everybody's losing their mind, we over here chilling, we just made money, 0.75 guaranteed with no loss. Guys, this alone is like, is a game changer to your money. Never losing money, but on top making money when the market is down is a game changer. So I have some clients who may get not get approved for like the living benefits in a policy, or they may not get approved for the best table rating, but it's still a good policy because you are growing money. You're never losing money. This money is tax free. And it comes with a dead benefit when we pass away. Where else are you going to get 13%? Where else are you going to get 8%? Where else are you going to get money where you're making money when the stock market is losing? Nowhere else. You could only get this with certain insurance company because the insurance is insuring your money. Right? That's why I have to... when I learned about it, Odetta, I said, oh, no, <laughs> I have to do something about where I'm saving my money. So I made sure that I got an IUL. I got one for my son. I'm not 21 anymore. My son is 20 something. But as long as you're in, in pretty good health, there's no reason why you can't have one, too. So all we have to do is apply. They'll be more than happy to cover you. 
-hmm. You can get an IUL up until you're 80 years old. That's how flexible it is. Um, so, mm -hmm. eat right, exercise, stay healthy, save your money, because you're going to be around for a long time. Once you're healthy, yes, you will be, and you're going to need money. Because prices are never going down, they only keep going up. Yep, yep. And then the third component is because, again, this is a life insurance, it's tax-free, right? You could touch your money at any age. Percy's in his 20s. If Percy wants to take money out in his 30s, in his 40s, he's not going to get hit with a 10% penalty like what's happening in a 401k or IRA. Those accounts, you have to be 59 and a half and above to not get hit with a 10% penalty for touching your own money. But with an IUL, you have tax-free access at any age. You don't have to get hit with a 10% penalty because you're under age 59 and a half, right? And then the fold component, this is a policy, of course, that has a debt benefit protection. You're protecting your life. If we pass away prematurely, a debt benefit pays out to our beneficiary. But it also has the living benefits component, right? This is money that you and I get. God forbid we ever get hit with a chronic or a critical or a terminal illness. This is not a debt policy. This is a living policy. This is a policy that's taking care of you and I while we are alive. And this is why black people probably don't like life insurance because they think they're just paying for something. They never reap the benefit. When they die, somebody else get the money. Reverse. Opposite. IUL is about you and I first while we're alive. Money for all the things while we're alive. And yes, whenever we die, a dead benefit pays out. But it's not about the dead benefits. It's about the living benefits. Money while you're alive. Right? So... I also want to show you guys um, somebody who was saving in this account. Let's say they knew about this a long time ago and they had started saving just $200. 30 years roll around, they're sitting on almost $300,000 cash value tax free. How many of us can say today we got $300,000 tax free? You may have $300,000, but is it tax free? Is it risk-free? Is it tax-free and is it risk-free? Are you keeping this entire 300,000 to yourself? Not a penny goes to Uncle Sam. And are you watching this 300,000 and knowing that, you know what, I don't care what Donald Trump say. I don't care what stock market does. I don't care who's at war with America. I ain't losing no money. In fact, I'm gonna make 0.75. I ain't ever losing no money, so I ain't ever going broke. How many of us can say that even if you do have 300,000 today? Most people can't say this. They may have it, but it's not tax-free and it's not risk-free. Actually, some people, because they managed to save so much while they were working, when they retire, they pay more taxes than they used to pay while they were at work. So that's a really sad part. Yeah. They pay more taxes also because, you know, they don't have any deductions anymore. The kids are grown, right. everybody's out the house, maybe they paid off of their mortgage. They don't have a lot of deductions, All right? And what if you were saving $300 today, 30 years later, you almost at half a million. Or let's say you did 500, or you worked your way up to 500. We all could have had 800,000. Guys, when I, to this presentation, it gets me every time and I am mad because my parents have been in this country for over 40 something years and they have none of these figures, none. So you see, this is why we're always looking for people like ourselves to teach this to your community because if someone had pulled my parents aside and said, hey, I want you to start saving $50 and then bump it up to $100, and then bump it up to 150 and just let this account sit there and grow. Today, 40-something years later, they could have had this money because they saved. They did the susu, they did the bank, they signed up with their job stuff, but they have none of these figures today. 
none and sadly if we don't continue teaching people a lot of people will continue to cycle this is why we're looking for people to teach this to your community and share this information because they're not going to hear this from their stockbroker they're not going to hear this from hr they're they're not going to hear this from their financial advisor they're just not right now i always say if you got a bank account you need an iul it's plain and simple it's saving money it's growing your money it's tax-free money it's risk-free money it's living benefits money and yes it's also life insurance that's what's shielding it and giving us all these benefits right so if you have kids you have nieces you have nephews you have grandkids you need to say, call us, Odetta, I want to get a plan for my kids. I want to get a plan for myself. How much do you want to start with? The point is to get started. Little money grows to big money over time. A lot of us make the mistake. We want to wait for this big money to start saving. No, it doesn't work that way. You'll never save. Start with the little money and over time, increase it. Because little money adds up to big money. All of us on this call can save $10 a day. $10 a day is $300 a month. You're spending it anywhere and you're not even realizing it because most of you are not doing a budget. We're spending $300. What if we were to take that $300 and intentionally put it in an IUL? You'll have almost half a million tax-free in the cash value of your policy. Not the dead benefit. The dead benefit is extra. This is just the cash value. Or maybe you start with $200. And every year you increase gradually. Right? So how much can you afford to start saving? Guys, these, these strategies and accounts have been around forever. Not because you don't know about it. They don't exist. They've been around. Most of us don't know about it. But they've been around. And I'm going to show you, what do they say? What's the saying? Put it, if you want to hide something from people, where should you put it? <laughs> where should you put it? If you want to hide information. In I think they say write a book. Write in a book. book. It. Yeah. Guys, these concepts and these accounts have been around forever. Look at all these books that people have been talking about what I just shared with you. All these books, saving your future, retirement miracle, becoming your own banker, 770 account. Do you know what 770 account is? That's that account that just shared with you. That's the IUL. Life insurance is 770 account. Trump tax cut. What do you think it is? That's all those tax things that I just mentioned to you. Lerp, look, look before you lerp. What do you think is lerp? Life insurance retirement plan, 475 tax deduction. Guys, the information has been around. Laser fund, money wealth life insurance. What the wealthy do with life insurance to supercharge their saving. Get me to zero tax. These are all insurance-based products because insurance is tax-free. All of these books have been talking about this forever. So because you and I don't know, doesn't mean it's not true. We're just not educated or reading. And there's so many more, right? I need to add mine to this list. <laughs> so guys, um, when it comes to your money, for those of you that are, that are a little more closer to retirement age right you might be in your 50s and your 60s and you have amassed all this money in your 401k well guess what when it comes to your money if you put it in the bank you're gonna get a fixed interest one to three percent i don't know which bank is giving you three i mean there is but not a lot right so if you put your money in the bank your money is fixed. And when I just told you, money in the bank is not going to cut it, honey. Money in the bank is transactional, honey. Money in the bank is to pay the bills and maybe just have some liquid money just for like emergency. The tire blew out. You got to take a quick trip somewhere. That's it. 
So if you have a hundred thousand in the bank or a CD, right, earning two to three percent, it is what it is. You're gonna get interest that one percent. Your money grows to one hundred one. You get another one percent the next year. Your money is now one hundred two. It is what it is. It's a fixed interest, and money in the bank is not working for us. You could put your money with an investment company, which it already is. If it's in a 401k, it's already in the stock market. If it's an IRA, it's already in the stock market. Now, that just means your money is variable. And if you Google the word variable, variable means up and down. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be rich today and broke tomorrow. I want to be rich and stay rich and die rich. Because when I die rich, my nieces and nephews gonna also be rich, right? We keep it, we like that rich word, right? We staying rich. We the rich family, right? But if you have your money in a variable account, I, I gotta hold my breath. I'm gonna be getting a heart attack every time I watch the news that the market went down. Cause that means I just lost some money. So with variable, although you could make a lot of money, it's risky and it's not guaranteed. So if I have a hundred thousand in my 401k or the stock market, the market go up 10%, great, I'm happy. I'm going to Red Lobster. I just made 110, I just have 110 now. But the next year, let's say the market go down, negative 10, now I'm eating sardine and rice. I'm mad at the world, because I just lost some money. I'm depressed, I'm sad, I don't want to go out, right? So here, it's very, it's very up and down, it's a roller coaster. One time you're happy, another time you're sad, you have no control of your future here. And this is where most people have their money, their serious money, their retirement money. Or, again, you could put your money with an insurance company. And now you have what's known as indexing your money. And when you index your money, and by the way, not every insurance company does this. So you might be saying, well, that I already got a life insurance. I'm good. No, you're not. Not every insurance company offers index accounts. When you put your money with somebody that offers an index account, insurance, now your money is safe and your money is growing. Because what again, we wanna be rich and we wanna stay rich, right? So the market goes up 10%, your 100,000 is now 110. The market goes down the next year, you ain't losing no money. You kept your 110. Your gains are locked in. Guys, but it gets even better. Not just that you don't lose any money, but some companies give you money when the market goes down. Why can do they do this? Because it's insurance companies. So I want to talk about two strategies. If you're in your 50s or 60s, actually, I'm going to talk about one for time's sake. If you're in your 50s or your 60s, and you're like, Odetta, I got 200,000, 300,000, 400,000, 100,000 in my 401k, that's for my retirement. Well, first of all, it's in the wrong bucket because you only got 10 years to retire or you only got eight years to retire. It's in the wrong bucket. You need to move it ASAP. You cannot afford to lose a blind cent, right? So nationwide, you guys know the jingle, put it in the chat. What is the jingle with Nationwide? Nationwide is number 80 on a fortune list 500 companies. Now, the last I checked, 80 on 500 lists, is that a good thing or a bad thing? If you're number 80 on a list of 500 companies, is that a good thing or a bad thing? To be number 80 on a list of 500. That's very good, right? Number 80 on five front of 500 companies. Y'all know the jingle. They're on your side. Automatically, they're on your side. You set up to win the money game because nationwide jingle is we're on your side. And Transamerica jingle is we got your back. We got your back and we on your side. So you good, right? So Nationwide is on your side. They are the number one company when it comes to providing a lifetime income. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to be richer than broke tomorrow. I want to have money all the time. I want to have money till my eyes close. 
I ain't ever want to be broke. This is why I wrote the book. This is why you broke. No, we want to have money all the time. Even if we don't need the money, even if we don't have to spend the money, bring me the money, show me the money, give me the money. Nationwide are going to do that for you and I with lifetime guaranteed income, lifetime guaranteed income. How many of us can say we have anything that's going to give us a guaranteed lifetime income? If you have a pension, yes, you're going to get guaranteed lifetime pension. Social security, yes, but I don't know. They're saying 2034, social security might be done. Or if it's not done, it's going to be very little, right? So when you have money with nationwide lifetime income, New Heights Select, this is the, the product, they're giving you a 30% sign on bonus. This is free money. Just for getting your business and placing the contract with them, they're giving you 30%. Who is giving who 30% right now? Can anybody tell me who's, where can you get 30% of anything, right? So this company is giving you 30% bonus on your money, but it gets better. For the first 10 years of the contract, guarantee 8% compound, not simple interest, compound. So let's say you have 500,000, you place it with nationwide new high to like contract. Let me make this bigger if I can zoom in, right? Your half a million that you give the insurance company. 30% bonus, now you just made 150,000 from day one. Your money went up from half a million to 650. And every year, 8%, 8%, 8%, 8% guaranteed. It doesn't matter if the stock market is down, you're guaranteed. This is a contract, people. This is a contract. This is nationwide. So even if the stock market crash for the next 10 years, we ain't losing no money. We making money, guarantee 8%. It is ludicrous that people don't know about these strategies. But again, as long as we don't know, guess who's making money? So your half a million that you give the company in 10 years, triple. Now it becomes 1.4. And for the rest of your life, you get paid a guaranteed lifetime income of 69000 every year until your eyes close. Every year until your eyes close. So I'm Guyanese. I like to tell my people, you know what? We stretching the money. We going to take your money and we going to stretch it and work miracles. Really, it's miracles. These companies are really working miracles for you. Because they're going to take your half a million and stretch it and give you money for the rest of your life till your eyes close. And because it's an insurance contract, guess what's still going to pay out upon our passing? So you're getting all this money while you're alive and money is still going to pay out upon your passing. You could only get this with life insurance companies. And not everyone. But here at WFG, we have access to over 77 companies. We work with the best. They're all A-rated. So when someone has a product with new heights to like nationwide, I sleep good at night knowing that I really just help that family stretch their money. Because if you have 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, whatever it is, I promise you, if you keep that money in your 401k, you risking it all. You have no control. And I promise you that 300,000, how long you think is gonna last you? Is it gonna last you till your eyes close? What you guys think? If you have 300,000 right now in your 401k and you're in your 60s, will it last you till your eyes close? First of all, we don't know when we're gonna die, right? But do we think, let's say we live in our 90s, do we think 300,000 is gonna last us till our eyes close? Yes, no, maybe. No, it's not. Guys, we're human being. We're human being. First of all, 
the grandkids are going to come around and they're going to be like, grandma, can you buy me this? You're going to end up spending some money. You may take a cruise. You may take a trip somewhere. You may go see the grandkids in Florida. You may come to New York for Labor Day weekend. You're going to do something and before you know it, that money is going to be slowly going down, going down, going down. Or you may get sick and now you're going to have to take some money. But when you have it in a new height select, they're giving you that money every month. So you stretch it. I have, I'm thinking of one of my clients who rolled over that same half a million that, we just, that I just showed you. They have money. They didn't need to do that strategy, but can anybody guess why they did that strategy? This is a couple that have money. Guys, it's ludicrous how I don't even have that type of money and I'm helping people who got way more lifetime money than myself. And they took that same strategy, they dumped half a million. Why would someone who have money still put money in that account? Why? Can anybody tell us me why? Why would they still do it? It would reduce for living. Huh? Tax free. Tax free. Yeah, that's one. What else? And uh, a life, leg lifetime legacy to live. And you got an high rate of interest. Yes. Yeah. Your money can found there too also. Yes. And this was this is a very savvy couple. They understand the tax implications. So they were very diligent. The tax is one thing that so screamed to them. And then the second thing that screamed to them was, you know what, that we're doing good, yes. We have properties, yes. We have all this asset, yes. But if our assets go down, if we get sued, if our tenants decide they don't want to pay mortgage, or if we get hit with a health crisis, those assets can, you know, can start depleting. The inflation, the most thing. Mm hmm So guys, um, we are really helping families with this information. So I'm gonna say what I always say in closing, and I'm gonna turn it back to Donna, is if you're on this call today, this is not something to even think about. These companies have already done their research. We have FBI's in here. We have doctors in here. We have lawyers in here, right? And we are all highly educated people. So this is not a Ponzi scheme. You have to get a state license to do this business. You have to go through a background check, series of background check. This is why we celebrate you when you get your license, right? So we're always looking for people to share this information with your community. If this is something that interests you, you want to learn more about, you want to also get involved and become a broker like us, get in touch with the person who invited you so we could show you the business side. I can tell you this business, it costs you less than $800. With all the licenses and the fees and the registration to get your business going, less than $800. How much can you make? unlimited how much can you make unlimited if donna right now wants to make twenty thousand dollars this month nobody can stop her not even me if she wants to make ten thousand dollars this month nobody in wfg can stop her unlimited right we just go out and we help families and the more families we help the more money we make and the best part is we're truly helping families we sleep good at night because we know that family is protected and a legacy has just been set up. Oh, I want to share, speaking of legacy, right? I'm going to share this flyer. Uh, when I say we work with all types of people, yeah, we have a lot of pastors at our platform. We have a lot of doctors and nurses in the medical field. We have FBI agents. And next Thursday, we're having uh, one of our estate planning attorney who is also a pastor. He's going to be teaching us understanding wills and trusts and leaving a legacy, right? Making sure that everything that you guys are working for right now, you get to control who gets what. Because if you have a will, the government will enjoy your money. Probate court right now is two years deep. Even if nobody is fighting, two years the court is behind. All your bank accounts, 
even if you're a husband and wife, even if you have your one child and your child name is on that bank account, everything gets frozen. So those of you that are on this webinar, if you want to sign up for this, maybe someone can put the link in the chat. You can register and come on and learn because this is an area that most people are, we're clueless. First of all, we think we don't need it, right? So I'm, I'm like, even though I know this information, I'm always, I'm always intrigued to learn more because when, when you hear these guys speak, they're giving you live stories of things that are happening. And by the time people get to them, it's too late. Families are fighting. The court is already involved. Everything is locked down. Like he even gave me a story of a husband and wife had their names on a joint bank account. The wife passed away. Everything was frozen. Her IRA was frozen. Her 401k. The government locks down everything when somebody dies. How do you avoid this? So the, hu the husband and wife had a joint account. I think it was like either 10 or 20,000 in the bank account. They have no access to that money. It's been over a year and a half. No access to that money. It's scary. It's scary that all your assets gets frozen the minute they the minute you die. So if you have a lot of money in your bank account or a lot of money anywhere, if you drop dead today, nobody's going to get it. My mom friend passed away. And the reason why she was able to get some money from, no, her husband passed away. My mom friend, husband. The reason why, shout out to Cheryl, I know she's watching. The reason why she was able to get some money, because I told her, you better go to the ATM right now since you have his bank card and start withdrawing some money. Because once the bank find out he died, locked down. She was able to get $5,000. By the time the bank found out, locked down. She had his bank card, she has his ATM, and she was able to go to the ATM and get some money. Everything else, locked down. Most people don't know these things, right? So guys, make sure that you come on here next Thursday, 7.30, and just become educated. Even if you have nothing right now, just knowing this information because you could be a blessing and share it with somebody else, right? So I'm gonna turn it back over to Donna to close us out, and thank you everyone who's been on. And again, do not think about this stuff. Call the person who invited you and say, hey, this sounds good. I want to get started. What do I need to do? There's nothing to think about. We've already done the research. These companies have already done the research. There's absolutely nothing to think about. If you have questions, this is why when you get with a person who invited you, we'll have those one-on-one, -on -one, answer your questions, answer your concern, and apply. You don't even know if you're going to get approved. Apply. At the very least, give yourself a chance and apply. Right? So, Donna, I'll turn it back over to you. Hey, thank you very much, Miss Odetta. That was very informative. I'm sure all of my guests appreciated this lesson today. Um, for those of you who are interested, whether you want to have one of these 